country. There are stricter borders to go into Mexico. That is than a to- lie. I don't know what border you've been through, but to go into Mexico is literally you just walk in, you drive in, you, you drive to it's Cabo. It's really fast. You know, you, the, you know where back to you know America? where Cabo is on the southern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. How do you drive? So you're in? talking about all of Mexico. You um, can't make the argument and talking about the southern border, southern border when you're talking about. A part of Mexico. If you take say that argument, if I illegally thing. domiciled myself in Mexico City and I announced I was illegal, what would the Mexican government do? Who's announcing they're illegal? You just announced your mom is here illegally. Yeah, because you asked. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video, guys. Today, we're gonna be checking out Chas Kick rebukes the defensive call college students on illegal Im- immigration. Okay, let's check this out, guys. I want your take on immigration. What do you feel about illegal immigration, you know, border hopping, border patrol? What do you take on that? Do you believe? Um, I mean, obviously I know like somewhat what you It shouldn't your, be a mystery, my yeah, beliefs, obviously, but, yeah. but I want to like hear from you first. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you're in this country illegally, you should be deported. Okay. And uh, we should also restrict the amount of legal immigrants coming into this country as well. Okay. But the illegal problem is a much bigger problem right now. It's, it's, it's a full-out invasion. We have 15,000 people a day marching into our country. We don't know who they are. Terrorist watch lists. They're killing people every day. Lake and Riley, another 16-year-old in Texas who just murdered over the weekend by an illegal. So you believe that everyone, no matter what you've done, deserves to get deported even if they're illegal? What if they just do well, nothing and contribute to society? Well, you can the, contribute the, to society. Well, they didn't do no, Hold on. They didn't do, they didn't do nothing. They broke into our home. Okay, but like, so what if, if you break into somebody's home, you should be able to get kicked out of the home. So True. they know what they did. They trespassed. They domiciled themselves illegally. If that continues, go back to your country of origin and go be a dreamer in Nicaragua. But a lot of times, it's because of U- U.S.'s imperialistic past is what caused many of these nations to. Oh, can you hear me? U.S. imperialism in the past. Yeah, a lot of these countries have been de- devastated by human. By okay, so there's over 120 different countries okay. that are coming across the border. Uzbekistan. China, you know, where 155,000 people from China have come across the border this year? Okay. From China. That's not like U.S. imperialism in Honduras. So they should be kicked out and deported. And it doesn't matter. U.S. imperial. I'm going to roll my eyes at the whole thing. You still broke the law. You came into our country illegally. We have laws and customs. You came here. You knew you were breaking the law. And you should be sent back to your country of origin. Simple. Any okay. decent country would do that. So yeah. you're taking a subset of Chinese citizens or Chinese people from China and saying, grouping them with everyone else. And because well, no, we I think I think the China Hondurans, in the past, Mexicans, Nicaraguans, El Salvadorians, Panamanians, Venezuelans, Chileans, they should all go home. Oh, really? If they're here illegally, yes. But like I said before, these people have been devastated by, in the past, these countries are poor. I, these I don't care. Been... Like, go, go <laughs> really? fix your own country. How do we screw up El Salvador? No, no, tell me, how did we screw up El Salvador? Can anyone tell me? Or is that just a talking point? What about for the kids? Go if back to your here? country of origin. So you would tell me to go back to my country well, right now? Well, are you born here or not? I'm born here. Well, my I think we should not. get they rid of illegal. birthright citizenship, but technically we have it, so me. you should stay. But yes. But I'm contributing to society. I'm working. Okay, good for you. I mean, so I, again, I, should I, would, just leave? I think we should get rid of birthright citizenship. Oh, but, so I'm done. But I'm done again, I'm not, like, I'm not like king, so we don't get rid of it. Birthright citizenship is a misreading of the birthright cause in the U.S. Constitution. But we have it, so you should, you're you going to stay. Don't worry. Okay. But you want me gone. But are, you, you want me gone. Well, no, I don't want you. I want you the law to like be enforced. Again, I think you're a nice person, but I don't yeah. allow my feelings to all of a sudden come in to you the administration really of justice. I'm sorry, what? You were literally talking about how, oh, we didn't do anything. Get out of here. This is what you just said. I'm dumbing it down, obviously. Well, okay, but did your parents come here illegally? Yeah. Okay, they're criminals, and they should okay. go back to the country of origin. But they contribute to society. I don't. They pick up. I'm they sure work a lot of day. criminals. Okay, they might okay, rob work, a store and pay work, their they taxes. Pick, they get your food. Okay, but did, fast food, let me ask you a question. They drive your kids to school. When, when they came, Is that not contributing? what's their country of origin? My mom's from Mexico. My dad's from Syria. From Syria. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Got it. Don't talk about did, that. Did he come here illegally too? Not him. Just my mom. Okay, I only it. live with my mom. So. so that's that's fair. So when she came here, did she know she was breaking the law? She was like, I think, seventeen. So yeah. Did she know? She probably know. Okay. Therefore, you should go back to your country of origin. If you knew that you were invading somebody's home, I don't have sympathy for you. You're an invader. You broke into our country. But I don't care if you're contributing. I don't care if you're this wonderful dreamer in this great story. Either you have the law or you don't. And if your position is to repeal that law, then make that case. If you think it should be legal to be able to waltz into somebody's country, then fine. There should be no exceptions to the administration of border law. You know who, who, you know who agrees? Mexico. If I go into Mexico without papers, they'll deport me back to America. 
Try to try to land in Cabo without your passport. They'll let what you in. I've been no, they won't. Of times. No, they won't. Really? I just walked through. It, no, you. I landed in Cabo six months ago without with somebody without a passport. They didn't let them into the country. There are stricter borders to go into Mexico. That is than a to, lie. No. I don't know what border you've been through, but to go into Mexico is literally you just walk in. You drive in. You, you drive to it's Cabo. It's really fast. You know, you, the, you know where back to you know America? where Cabo is on the southern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. How do you drive? So you're in? talking about all of Mexico. You I'm, can't make the argument and talking about the southern border. Southern border when you're talking about. A part of Mexico. If you take say that argument, if I illegally thing. domiciled myself in Mexico City and I announced I was illegal, what would the Mexican government do? Who's announcing they're illegal? They would you, you just announced your mom is here illegally. Yeah, because you asked. <laughs> no, you you said you you, you you declared yourself. I'm a dreamer. I was born here. My so I implied your mom was okay. here illegally, right? Yeah. And you might not like to hear it, but your mom's a criminal. Okay. And every day she stayed here is no different than squatting. You're squatting in America. You're, you are you don't get squatters rights in this country just okay. because you have a nice story and we feel sorry for you again your, your mom contributes a lot right then she can contribute back in Mexico she can go build a beautiful business and get a job or you know Why go to she here be, she already is but she, the point is that she wasn't welcome here she wasn't invited she cut in line she took the place of other legal immigrants from across the world that have to wait decades to come into here she wanted it more so she cut in line under this mass sympathy campaign and we're supposed to like feel sorry for her like go back to monterey okay so uh, do you do you think we should get rid of the law that says you can't come into a country illegally should we just get rid of that law my honest opinion yeah, I would say, no. No, no, we, we, no. We shouldn't get rid of it. No. Okay, I agree. So then, when should we enforce it? What? When should we enforce it? It's confused. Yeah. Okay, be, and you know the reason, and I, 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 pre, I, I respect the intellectual honesty, because if you said we should enforce it all the time, then you know it would apply to your yeah. mom but but uh, look you're a winner of all this you get to be in the greatest country in the history of the world right no, i respect it i love being american yes and so great okay and we have birthright citizenship you have a u.s passport i assume right you cannot have a sustainable country if you do not have control of who comes into your country with no out. sort of standards no sort of process it's a big mystery secondly on top of that we have it on the books you shall not trespass across the u.s southern border it, it is literally a felony they want to make it a misdemeanor so if we repeal that law, that's a position of some people. No, no border policy whatsoever. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. You for your time. God bless. Next question. Thank you. Okay. I, I see this as a way of emotion. And so the guy, Mexican guy who was uh, um, talking to Charles Cake, he was is emotional because of the way his mom came into the U.S. And he feels like some people should not be kicked out. I understand, but the law still applies to everyone. If the law does not stand, everyone in the world who wants to go to the US is as simple as that. And he, the guy asking the question knows that there should be violation for anyone who entered the country illegally. He knows the truth. It's just that he has that emotional um, feeling because that is how he, his mom came into the country. And he was born there and he's happy to be an American right now. And I understand him. Truly, I understand him. But there's a limit. It is illegal to come into a country illegally. Without a passport, without anything, without a visa, without anything, it is a right. Nah, it's not done like that. Because if it's done like that, every single person will leave their country to another one. And you can't control the massive people coming to your country at once. You really don't know who's coming in. There are terrorist organizations everywhere worldwide. So you don't know who's coming into your country. The country that is angry with your country, something like US now, I know they're not in too good terms with Russia or Iran, you get. So people from there coming to US just like that, illegal immigrants coming in, you don't know who is coming in and you're allowing them in. Nah, you don't allow a stranger coming to your house just like that because you don't know them <laughs> and you don't know if they want to kill you. You don't know what the, what the plans or the, what their thoughts are for you. So, that's simple as that. So, uh, I love the, I love Charles Kick wisdom. I love how, he's, how he handled it. I love how he expressed his opinion 
And also the Mexican guy, I love how he talked about it. And I feel like he was just acting out of emotion, not logically. So the simple as that. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you stand my bed. I got scales on.